today I'll be showing you an issue I had with my uh, first generation WNDA 3100 Range Max Dual Band Wireless N USB adapter. It's very old. I don't know how old it is, but it's really old. And so I was hoping to run it on Windows 10. You can see I'm on Windows 10 right now. But when I tried to install it, this software, I downloaded it and I tried running it on desktop. And this is the error message I get. You know, it's missing for some reason. Uh, let's see if I can restore that. So when I run it, I've also tried running it in compatibility mode. But it doesn't matter. It gets pretty far, but then it crashes. So this, it looks like it's going pretty well, and I accept, I install. But it crashes over here because Windows isn't upgrading the system. Not successful, please wait a minute to reinstall. And it, it, mine isn't even version 2. Mine's version 1. So this is what the error message that I'm getting. Um, so I did some more Googling. And I, instead of uh, looking for the drivers, because I actually copied the drivers over from a working computer and tried installing them, and they wouldn't work, I found this. And so it's a dev wiki for uh, this uh, USB adapter, this wireless USB adapter. It actually has the exact Windows driver that might work. Uh, I clicked on here. And it downloaded AR9170, which corresponds to this Atheros chip. So after downloading that, I had to uh, update the driver. And then I have the driver look for the installation file in this directory here for the Atheros files and I was able to install the what do you call it, Wi-Fi you can see over here I'm connected right now to the wireless and so that's how I was able to get to work for Windows 11 so Windows 10 uh, this installation file worked but uh, for Windows 11 it's giving me this error message and I'm not sure why well, obviously, this is a really old uh, USB device. So this is how I got it to work. Um, I'm not showing this step where I go into, you know, right-click on this computer, and then you go to uh, show more properties and manage, and you have a device manager. And somewhere under USB, you'll see like an exclamation because mine is already installed. It'll be under drivers, network drivers. I had to, what do you call it? Update the driver, find, find which where it was. It was showing up as like USB 2.0 something. And then I updated the driver and I had to browse computer for drivers. Uh, and I think either one works. You can do it this way, but I just had to choose that it was on my desktop Air 970, and then I think it was able to install it automatically. So that's it. I don't think much people, many people, are going to watch this video, but that's how I installed it. This old old USB network drive. So have a good one.